Okay, so let's use the tracker program to calculate the force due to gravity G. Alright, so I'm going to open a file here and we have the ball drop. And I'm going to import that in to the tracker program. I'm using a MacBook Pro, it's about six years old. Okay, now if you notice these sliders down the bottom here, we just need maybe a second or two to, to drop the ball. It's a small ball, it'll be hard to follow, but we'll get it. I'm going to slide the other slider over to the very end. Again, it will only be just a second or two. Let's see how that looks. We'll go back to the beginning and then press the green arrow. The ball's falling. And that'll be good. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do set up a scale. Up on the top, we need a new calibration stick. And we're going to tell Tracker that this much is one meter. Okay. Double click there and I'll change 100 to 1.0 because it's 1.0 meters. You can zoom in a little bit to try to get it more accurate, but I, th I think that's pretty good. Okay, zoom out. I click on the calibration stick again to hide it. Uh, our XY axis is the next. I'm using these three in a row calibration stick, XY axis, and create. Those are the three you'll use. I'm going to put our origin right up here at the top. Click on it again to, to hide it. Now let's create a point mass. All right, we're going to do a point mass. So we're going to tell it to go to footprints and tell it to just put a, a dot, a red dot, as it follows along. Now what you do is you press down the shift key on a Mac, and you'll notice that this will turn, the cursor will turn to a little box. Click on the, bo on the ball and it will advance one frame. Now Tracker is gathering the data. Now I'm going to click in the middle of the red ball. It's a little bit hard because it's falling now. And we're just using a camera phone here. But I suspect if all my students do this, the, the mean would be very close to G. Okay. There's 16, 17. 18. Okay, now we have some data, and what we want to go over here to the right is we want to double click in this area, and we're going to do, uh, let's actually, what we want to do is click on table here and tell Tracker to find the acceleration in the y direction. That's right here, a sub y. Okay, that's all we need there. Here's a sub y right over here, and now we can highlight this information and right click and say analyze okay somehow that one didn't get analyzed we'll get analyze all this here and there's our mean right up here negative 9.68 or close to negative 9.7 and our, of course you can ask your students Wow, why is that negative? Well, it's negative because it's going down. So this will get pretty accurate here. Um, it's, it's pretty close. It's within uh, one-tenth. And we're looking for a negative 9.8 approximately. And the force due to gravity is a, is a mean. There's, it's different around different parts of the world by just a little bit. And that's how you could find, use the statistics, uh, statistics here to find the acceleration due to gravity using Tracker.